Valentine's Day was recently and this got me thinking about a story from my childhood that had to do with Godzilla and love. Rewinding all the way back to the turn of the century, Godzilla the Animated Series was stopping its way into our Saturday morning cartoons and one particular episode focused on a subject we rarely, if ever, see from the franchise. Godzilla falling head over scaly heels for a beautiful Sheila. This whole episode used relationships both with its human characters like Nick and Audrey and with Godzilla and Komodo Thrax, a mutated female Komodo dragon. Love is hard in our human world, and even harder when you're a giant nuclear reptile. Let's get to it. The story starts off with Nick and Audrey on a ship somewhere out in the Arctic Ocean. These two always had an awkward relationship in this series and this continues here as Nick struggles to bring up an important question regarding their future. Now we'll get to more on this towards the end of the video but Nick's question is cut short as they are attacked. The villain monster of this episode, a giant aggressive turtle triggers a chain of events that leads Nick and Audrey stranded in the water on a beat up safety boat. Cutting back to New York and the Heat Team headquarters, we see the crew studying Godzilla as suddenly the G-Man abruptly leaves his underwater home and sets a vigorous pace out to sea. What some would say is Godzilla racing out to save Nick is actually the monster sensing a call from his soon-to-be mate Komodo Thrax. Nick and Audrey drift ashore on an icy cold island and it doesn't take long for the giant turtle to find them once again. After a quick chase, we see our pretty girl show up to stop the turtle in its tracks. Komodothrax is revealed to be very similar to Godzilla in their biology and mutations. She even sports her very own version of the atomic blast. And this is the exact reason why Godzilla puts the effort into meeting her. She quickly defeats the turtle and sets a beeline back to her home. Nick and Andre are quick to follow after the monster picks up Godzilla's scent on Nick and the two are intrigued to learn more about this monster that is so similar to Godzilla. What they soon stumble upon blows their minds as Komodo Thrax nests in a hidden tropical oasis created by volcanic activity that lies in the middle of the frozen island. The two are shocked and they settle down under a nice tree to rest some. Just when you think they're going to have a nice little moment together, the rest of the Heat team bursts onto the scene and well ruins that. With Heat showing up, we finally get to see the big G-Man meet up with his soon-to-be girlfriend. Godzilla and Komodo Thrax are now locked in what on the surface appears to be the beginning of a brutal beatdown, but we are quick to learn that it's more of a dance than any sort of true fighting. Our big guy can be quite the charmer. Just like when your buddy gets a new girl, Godzilla is quick to forget about his relationships with his Heat Team human friends and chases off the crew that he has worked with his entire life like they meant nothing to him. That probably hurts a little bit, Godzilla, come on. At this point, the G-Man is blinded by love and you can say things are getting serious. His natural protective instincts that come with this mating pair bond takes over all thoughts in his mind and it's not long till he and Komodo Thrax are a real power couple. This is where the relationship the two monsters are having gets interesting. Nick points out that Godzilla is incapable of reproducing, but photo evidence delivered by the now occupying military in the area shows the mutated reptile couple building onto the Komodo Thrax's nest. And in this nest, we see an egg. Nick states that she is likely able to fertilize her own egg, and that Godzilla traveled across the world just to be this egg's stepdaddy. What a good guy, not even his kid and he still loves her and her egg. All jokes aside, this is likely due to the G-Man's natural instincts telling him he needs to reproduce. In the animal world, the main goal of life is to reproduce and have your species carry on, so it makes you feel a little bad for him knowing that he can never have his own babies, you know? The military decides the only course of action is to destroy all the monsters, Godzilla and Komodo Thrax included, in order to stop any sort of baby monster boom from happening. To make sure Godzilla doesn't get harmed, the Heat Team lures him away using the team's trusty robot, Nigel. And if you follow this series, you know how that's gonna turn out. Now to save the girl. Heat rushes to get in the way of the choppers attacking Komodo Thrax and manages to do a good job at it until the giant turtle comes back, this time looking to end any chance of another Komodo Thrax being born. Komodo Thrax battled with the turtle but then stumbled back into her nest. 
causing her egg to roll out of it and tumble down the hillside. With the frightened soon-to-be mother distracted, the giant turtle comes in for a devastating strike that causes Komodo Thrax to crumble to the ground. We don't know how injured she is, but she's not moving. Godzilla shows up just in time to see the turtle pick up the egg in its mighty jaws and turn back towards its part of the island. The G-Man goes to Komodo Thrax's side, sees how she is unresponsive and he lets out a mighty roar that means only one thing, he wants revenge. He stalks the clumsy turtle tracks and quickly catches up to it. Just as the turtle begins to crack the egg with its beak-like mouth, Godzilla arrives and the battle begins. As mighty as the G-Man is, the turtle is a hulking foe who is able to handle all of Godzilla's attacks and then sends our hero flying back into the side of an icy mountain. Just as the turtle comes in to deliver more damage, Komodo Thrax bursts onto the scene and delivers such a mighty impact that it sends the turtle toppling over onto its back. Godzilla is a champion, but here you can see how Komodo Thrax was experienced with fighting this turtle and she knew the best way to defeat it was to flip its body over to where it was stuck on its backside. Our lady here is a real badass. She pushes the turtle towards a ravine that's thousands of feet deep and manages to send the turtle down. What she doesn't see is how close her egg was to the edge. In classic villain fashion, the turtle manages to hold on to the edge just enough to cause the egg to slide down towards the ravine. In a final effort, the turtle grabs a hold of Komodo Thrax's foot and pulls her down with it just as the egg tumbles over the edge as well. Just like that, Godzilla had lost his mate and he was devastated. As the episode closes, Nick once again tries to ask his question to Audrey. What's this question? Well, he never gets a chance to ask her. Love can be hard, whether you are a human or a giant mutated lizard. Thank you for watching this video. If you want more videos like this, let us know in the comments. It's nice to take a look at possibly forgotten moments in Godzilla history, so share this video with your friends to see what they think and get the algorithm all fired up so more people can, you know, see it. This has been Jacob, and I will see you guys in the next one.